topsy-turvy, inside out, upside down, all over the place, higgledy-piggledy. There have been times throughout 2014 when our world has seemed as though it's in a muddle at best and chaotic at worst. Unexplained events and acts of terror have shaken local, national and international communities. We've grappled to understand the mayhem, especially within the context of this year, 100 years since the commencement of World War I. We've wept for the losses of life and innocence. Most of us have continued with everyday endeavours, outwardly unchanged by unfolding tragedies. Perhaps we've felt the challenges are too big for us to solve or that someone else will do it. Or maybe we've been so overwhelmed that we avoid thinking about it. Whatever our individual response, there is no doubt that amidst great complexity, humanity seeks clarity, purpose and hope. We want to pioneer a way forward. At the risk of sounding trite, right now, our world needs more acts of love and more acts of leadership. As the clip just illustrated, if we give a little of both, there is a very real possibility that even more will be generated. To achieve this, we need only to consider our own circle of influence as opposed to the enormity of resolving conflict in Syria. A problem of such magnitude may result in no action at all. We end up doing nothing because we feel overburdened and helpless. Yet our energy can be magnifying if we work on those matters that we can do something about. That something is always uplifting if connected to how we treat one another. The daring to put others first and to love one another is a defining feature of an MLC learner. And the love I reference here is far from a romantic notion. It's the type that finds the courage to challenge, care, and change our world. Whether this be the world of family, friends, school, neighbours, our state, the nation, or the globe. In this way, love is expressed through acts of kindness and service. It also manifests in the selflessness to befriend and to give. Another equally distinctive attribute of an MLC learner is her capacity to find her voice and respectfully speak up and take action in times of need. She knows the worth of her influence and across a variety of experiences, learns to use it in a way that enables other people to thrive. Mostly, she recognises that the choices she makes will be observed and possibly repeated. Our school too is watched, monitored and judged by the values we hold dear and the priorities we set. In 2015, the college will launch our new 10-year strategic direction. Titled towards 2025, the plan details an aspirational improvement agenda. It is with excitement that this evening I announce just one of the 30 strategic projects that will strengthen the excellence in education that MLC already provides. I introduce to you the Walton Leadership Institute. Named in honour of MLC's visionary founding principal, Gertrude Walton, all learners from years 5 to 12 will benefit from the Institute's curriculum. Explicitly developing skills associated with exemplary communication, decision-making and providing service to others, 
the Institute will nurture competencies required for effective international relations. Most students will choose to pursue its accreditation pathway and therefore, commencing in 2016, will graduate from MLC as well as the Institute. For our year 11s and 12s, who in this moment might be thinking, this isn't fair, we miss out. I want to salute you for being a part of the inspiration of this initiative and to assure you that MLC will continue to evolve and that in doing so, you will always look fondly upon our activities and proudly say, that's my school. The Walton Leadership Institute coordinates under one banner the development of set character strengths and skills associated with growing our girls' competencies to serve in leadership. Ultimately, this service may be transferred to the home, boardroom, parliament, the not-for-profit sector, or your neighbourhood. The context is almost irrelevant. What matters is her commitment and her capacity to engender integrity, mastery, enterprise and justice. Seeking this truth, this expertise, resourcefulness and fairness is integral to society's flourishing. As Bernstein positioned, this must be the mission of every man of goodwill to insist at the risk of becoming a repetitive bore, but to insist on the achievement of a world in which the mind will have triumphed over violence. Further thinking about these values and the college's strategic horizon will be shared across term one next year. In the meantime, let us consider that a pessimist complains about the world and its disorder. Dreamers and optimists expect it to be different. What we really need are leaders MLC leaders who personify the changes required. Only then can love and peace abound. And with that in mind, I want to wish every MLC family a very joyous and a very blessed Christmas. Thank you. <laughs>